Welcome back to the basic web security tutorial. Last chapter I talked about network firewall. This chapter I'll talk about OS firewall. So let's uh, take the next uh, slide of my presentation. Uh, last uh, graphic uh, we saw we, we were the uh, let me go to it. <laughs> that will be easier. We had uh, right here the internet. Uh, also uh, showed as a cloud, uh, the other place, other place, a stormy cloud because it's dangerous, as I, I mentioned. Uh, it, 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 the the threat came to the whole network. Now this uh, time we, uh, it's gonna only come from the hub, uh, directly from the hub up to the directly to a computer. So we won't talk about the rest of the network. We'll only talk about directly. Uh, the, the connection already having been filtered out the most obvious threats now it's going to be uh, from less obvious threats uh, but only from from a single computer so let's go uh, let's go here so this is coming from the hub already partly filtered uh, this is the uh, unsecured connection this will be the firewall uh, on this will be a software so this imagine a box around here uh, it, this this is your computer, and this will be a uh, software a link to your operating system, <coughs> and this will be another software. Uh, that's asking for a connection, and uh, so this will be a filter. This the firewall will be a software interposing itself between uh, the normal uh, operating system processes of uh, taking the network and then g taking the network and giving the network. It will interpose itself in between, so the the, the software will always be there, uh, linked to the operating system because the operating system uh, is here, but it's it's it's, it's here it's, it tells you can never uh, take it, uh, take the connection uh, from not going through the firewall so uh, the the operating system uh, links uh, links the, the connection through it but the, the software is separated and this will be your uh, this is a different example but I'm, I'm making this the the icons here I'm using the icons uh, connection and the internet for uh, here and this instead of uh, being uh, your computer will be a uh, software <coughs> okay so uh, let's uh, talk more about this so here on my computer I'm using Outpost Firewall I went through a forum and I chose uh, very carefully I read a lot and, and I advise you to do the same before choosing something read a lot about it because there's other choices out there it's very rare that like a software there's only one solution for a problem so read and choose wisely what you want so after my choice I uh, I went with the Outpost Firewall I, I, this is the version I'm using <coughs> sorry about that and uh, yes I'm using a free license because I'm, uh, I'm usually not paying for my software uh, beside the Windows, which I I had no choice because it came with my computer, and I'm uh, unfortunately I couldn't uh, deal it out from my uh, from the the price, so I my, I might as well use it. <coughs> Otherwise, I would have used uh, GNU Linux. So uh, yes, how how does it does it take the connection coming in and then uh, filtering out uh, what's what's not wanted? Well, this software has two purposes. Purposes. It uh, beside uh, filtering. Uh, let's go back to the the the, the graphic. So beside f filtering here the the network connection, it also filters the softwares. So imagine you had other boxes here. The boxes uh, in this case representing software. It shouldn't be box. It should be something else. Imagine having others. So not only uh, does this firewall protects from uh, the network, it also uh, so imagine here the red wall would be also a red uh, red cloud uh, uh, baiting all the software inside of. If a software tries to connect to another one or to the operating system, it goes through the the red big red cloud and it will be uh, intercepted through with the, the other part of the software of the firewall that I'm using because there's the traditional one for the network and there's also the one uh, 
using uh, other softwares and uh, operating system. That part will be is called anti-leak, and this one will be called network. So let me just go right away and uh, see uh, what I'm talking about. Let's go to the rule wizard, application rules. There you go. So the anti-leak will be the big red cloud I'm talking about, uh, connecting, uh, monitoring between the softwares, and network will be the one uh, monitoring the line coming in, the connection, which is network. So yes, uh, this software uh, uh, filters both. So this, this, in uh, you choose. Uh, I usually don't use this interface because when I'm connected to uh, software, uh, pop-up comes in and asks me if I want to allow or remove 